Hey, first grade friends and families, it's Miss Burns here, and welcome to week seven, day two's math lesson. We are still in 1G3, that is our geometry standard, that asks us to partition shapes into halves, that's two equal parts, and quarters, or fourths, that's four equal parts. Now, yesterday we were able to do that by using paper and scissors. So we actually cut using the scissors, we cut our shapes, our circles, squares, rectangles into equal parts, either halves or quarters. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use a geo board. So after using this video, students will be able to use a virtual, that means online geo board to partition shapes into halves and quarters or fourths. Now I know what you're thinking. Ms. Burns, what's a geo board? Well, you've probably seen these in kindergarten, friends. A geo board is a math tool that we use with rubber bands to help us show 2D shapes. You grab a rubber band, you stretch it around the pegs, and you're able to make triangles, squares, rectangles, a rhombus, trapezoids, all sorts of 2D shapes. Well, we can also use a geo board not only to build a 2D shape, but we can use it to partition those 2D shapes into halves and quarters. I'm gonna show you how to do that using a virtual or an online geo board, and it will be available to you through the some more. So let's go into our virtual geo board first. I'm gonna clear a few things out of the way. I was messing with this earlier. I'm gonna clear my board. These arrows down here on the bottom will start over for me. Yes, a few things to note. You'll notice you have different colors of rubber bands. You can use whichever color you would like, I'm just going to make sure that I reserve or keep my red rubber bands to only use as my partition lines. Those are the lines I'm going to use that are actually cutting or dividing a 2D shape into halves or quarters. So let's start with a square. We're going to create a square and then we're going to partition it into halves and quarters. Now this works just like a rubber band. So I'm stretching from corner to corner. I'm going to make the big square. Right now I've got a triangle. I have three sides and three vertices. Excuse me, I have to cough, friends. <coughs> and now I have a square with four equal sides and four vertices. But our job is to partition this shape into halves and quarters. Well, I know halves are two equal parts. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a red rubber band to show my partition. And I'm gonna partition the square in half straight down the middle from top to bottom. I now have two equal pieces and they look like rectangles. These two rectangles or these two rectangular halves are put together to compose the whole square. Now, something else I really enjoy about this tool is if you come down here to the bottom taskbar and you see the plus sign, minus sign, multiplication and division, and you click on that, you're actually able to input numbers that are going to help you label your work. So I'm gonna label my rectangular half, one out of two, that's one half, done. And I can make it bigger or smaller. I can actually label the parts of my whole. So here is one half and I could add another that says one half over here. My labels would help represent, show what I'm representing with my partition line. So that's one way of partitioning or cutting a square into equal parts, two equal parts called halves. Let's see if we can now partition this square into quarters. I'm gonna get rid of my one half because it's no longer going to represent what I am showing. I'm gonna click on it and then click on the garbage can. Oh, come on, garbage can. There it goes. Well, I've already divided or partitioned my square into halves. If I cut halves in half, then I get quarters. So I'm grabbing another partition red rubber band and I'm now gonna cut across the center. And now I have one, two, three, four equal parts. We call these quarters or fourths. Again, I can represent that with a label, one out of four, we call that a one fourth or one quarter done and I can label any of these parts one fourth because they all represent one fourth of my whole. We are using our geo board to partition or cut 
our 2D shape into halves and quarters. Now let's say that you are done with a square and you want to see if there's different ways you can partition a rectangle. You'd come down here to these circular arrows. It says start over, click it, start over. Do you want to clear all your work? Yes. And then you can start over. Let's start with purple. Why not? And we're going to build a rectangle. So again, these work just like if you were stretching a rubber band in the classroom. I've got a triangle now. I want to make it into a rectangle. Hmm, four sides. Nope, but that's not a rectangle because I need opposite sides to be equal. And right now they are not. Here we go. Rectangle. I'm first going to partition using my red rubber bands in halves. And I want to partition this rectangle in half by going from corner to corner, or we call that diagonally. And now I've partitioned my rectangle into two triangular halves. I could label those halves one out of two or one part out of the two equal parts equals one half. I could label either of these parts one half. Let's see if there's another way. I'm going to get rid of this. Oops, garbage can, because now I want to make a fourth, one fourth. Hmm, I'm going to move this rubber band around. I think there's a different way I could make one fourth. I'm going to bring, oops, I have to pick this up from the corner. How about, hmm, that's not fourths, one, two, three parts, and they're not equal. Let's put one rubber band here, two parts. Now I've got three parts. These two look equal. Let's see if we can cut this last piece in half, and then we'll get four equal parts. Here we go. We now have one, two, three, four equal parts. Each of these parts is what we call one fourth or one quarter. It is one fourth or one quarter of the whole. Now I can drag this label in any of these parts because they are all equal. Now here's what I want you guys to do. I want you to go into the some more. I'm going to show you exactly where it is. Keep in mind, friends, that your background might look different because teachers use different backgrounds. And yesterday we worked on, you would have watched this video, partitioning into halves and quarters using different things you have around the house. You're going to keep scrolling down until you find math day two. It's for May 5th. That's today. Now, of course, I haven't plopped the video in because that's what we're doing right now. But right below the video, you're going to see this box that says click me to find the virtual geo board. Once you click here, you will be brought right to your virtual geo board where you can build any 2D shape and experiment with partitioning it into halves and quarters using these red rubber bands as your partitions. I also wanted to show you that we have rectangular geo boards. You'll notice that that's a much larger array. There are many more pegs that are arranged in rows and columns. We also have a circular geo board. So friends, your job is to get into this some more, complete your Microsoft form, and start playing around in this virtual geo board so that you can partition your own shapes into halves, two equal parts, and quarters, four equal parts. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, friends.